Hey, welcome to Catching Drills by DirtBaseball.com. And please note that this video is for instructional purposes only. There's a few drills that can be done to improve catching techniques. So please note that if any of these drills give you problems or injury, please consult a doctor. These drills are intended to be done with full equipment to so participate at your own risk. First thing we'll look at is stances here. And uh, first stance is a signal stance. Second one is a primary stance. And the third one is a secondary stance. So a few drills. Uh, this one would be uh, called around the horn. And, and what we do is we flip the balls in. And right now we're working on the inside pitch to a right-handed batter. Now the outside pitch to a right-handed batter. And you can refer to the website to see how to handle those pitches. And then we'll mix in a couple of lower pitches as well. This is around the horn, the same drill done with a glove this time. So I want to pay attention to how he handles the low pitch. And notice that he keeps the mitt facing down. And that would be an example there. So notice again how the, uh, the glove is facing down and he sticks the pitch on the low side. So again we'll look at uh, how he receives the low pitch, kind of sucks it up into his body. He has a nice stiff elbow, balls out in front of him. So here will be a few blocking drills to look at. And this is uh, what we call dry blocking. Dry blocking basically means there's no ball being thrown. Anytime we refer to a drill being dry. Uh, there's not a ball or a pitch being thrown. So notice that there's an instructor pointing which way to go and he reacts to that. So now this is blocking the V. We place three baseballs down and the balls on the on the outside are actually um, up in front of the plate or about halfway up the plate and he has to get his body out and around the ball with his chest centered on the target there. And this will be blocking the ball on the plate. Now notice how when he blocks this, his left shoulder will redirect the ball back to the plate. And that's something you really want to focus on is being able to slow the block down in your mind enough to be able to use your shoulders to direct the ball. So we just have a few different blocks here. And notice how on the outside he gets around it. So here, uh, this is a side view of a blocking drill, of, again, blocking the ball on the plate. So uh, we want to block the ball black, back down to the plate. So your checkpoints are chin tucked, elbows in, mitt buried, and breathing. So here we want to watch the stationary image as it's already down, and then we'll watch the catcher's body move to that stationary image. So we'll look at it one more time here in just a second, and notice how his back feet uh, fire backward. And then the elbows are tucked, the chin's tucked, the ball hits on the center of the chest and lands on the plate. So again, uh, just referencing blocking the V and then we'll show the live block rather than the dry block. So here the, uh, the person throwing the ball will be throwing from an angle. In this case, the thrower's on the right side throwing back across the plate. It makes the catcher get out and around the ball, blocking it back to the plate. And this will be the opposite direction here. And this speed blocking, this works on stamina and strength in the legs. So uh, we're throwing them uh, in the middle to the left and the right. He has to react to those. We block five or eight balls generally and then uh, allow the catcher to rest. So a couple throwing drills. Uh, the first one you'll see tail of the tape. We do most of our throwing drills off the tape. Uh, the larger line is what the catcher will toe up to. The shorter uh, line is where the jab step will go and then we want to stay in line with, uh, with the tape as we throw towards second. And again, the bullseye, this is the piece of tape that, uh, that's the target. You can see that there in the distance on the net. And he'll come out of the hole firing to that target using the tape as a reference for footwork.
And then lastly, uh, we'll want to keep the ball shoulder high with the glove using a quarter turn. So in this first image, the ball's out front, the mitt turns, and then it goes up to the, uh, to the shoulder height. So that's a few of our catching drills, and thank you for watching DirtBaseball.com.